Okay, well, I'm back with the narration. Um, I decided to start it here just to show you guys. Uh, after you get the fire wave, go back to that part with the right armor, then just take out that igloo with it, and you get that heart tank, and then just leave the stage and just go on with the game. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to be like do funny stuff anymore. I'm just gonna like sort of talk you through it, because after all, it is kind of a walkthrough, but I mean, it's not a hard walkthrough, to be totally honest. Uh, well, after finishing Storm Eagle stage, all the electricity is down in this stage, making this stage a lot easier to clear, but I tend to have a little problems on my own accord. I don't really know why that happens, but it just happens. It's actually best to take out those enemies with Storm Tornado, just because it's like multiple hits. It's basically all those buster shots that I do in one fell swoop, to be totally honest. <laughs> I dodge these things pretty quickly my first time around, but later on I don't do such a great job. <laughs> in case you didn't know, you actually get a little bit of power boost when you dash and fire. Well, right now we're gonna face the mini boss of the stage. Like I said before, use Storm Tornado. Pretty much, it's pretty much a trump card for the stage. Now, like I said, since the electricity is down on stage, it took a really unnecessary hit. This guy, his electrical powers are pretty much disabled, which makes the fight a lot easier for you. So probably the only way he can beat you is just by bouncing on you every time. But it's easy to dodge it, even though I got hit once. I wasn't really paying attention, that was my fault. So we just go on. Uh, these enemies are annoying just because they take quite a lot of hits to take down. And I tried to attempt it, but I didn't know that one was there. So I just keep going and whatever. There's similar enemies in Mega Man 7, but they're actually a lot easier to take down in my opinion. Go up this wall, do a nice little jump, and there's another heart tank. Which makes our health a little bit higher. And it's going to really help in the final fights. That is if you don't get the Hadouken power up, but we'll, go we'll get to that later. I somehow went in the opposite direction. It was because I accidentally wall climbed, but it was unintentional. God, I just love the music for the X series, particularly the Super Nintendo series. I guess the PlayStation series was alright, uh, but whatever. I'm not gonna get into that. I don't know why I have so much trouble with this enemy. I shouldn't have. Anyway, we're here at Spark Mandrill. In case you couldn't tell, a mandrill is a monkey. I have seen mandrills in real life. They are actually pretty similar. They're related to baboons in some way. That's enough of zoology facts. Well, his weakness is shotgun ice, and it's pretty easy to take him down. Just once he breaks from the ice, just fire with him again. And make sure to dodge those. That'll really jeopardize your flow if you get hit by them. I really don't have much to say. He's really an easy boss. Huh. God. I just, I, the memories I've had with this game is, oh, they're countless. Uh, I love this, it's so nostalgic. Well, you get the electric spark, and a little password, which I don't really need. It's time to go tackle Armored Armadillo. There's 
There's a nice little Easter egg in this stage. And if you're a fan of Mega Man games, then you're gonna like it. <laughs> Especially the classic series. Coming up right about now. There it is, the bubble bat. Now, those are good if you want lots of one-ups. Because every time you destroy one, it gives you another life. Well, at least most of the time. Not all the time, as I've learned. I don't like bats. I only like bubble bats. I somehow got hit there, but it's not a problem. I could have gone for a no-hit run, but if it wasn't for that bat and that stupid ostrich. Yeah, don't go forward, you want to stay behind him, and right here's a sub-tank. This guy's pretty easy to take down with the fire wave. Just keep tapping it, because eventually you'll start using your charge attack, and you want to take him down quick for specific parts. Make sure you have a helmet upgrade, that way you can get these little suckers. Possibly fill up your sub tank if you didn't take any hits. Unfortunately for me, I took quite a couple hits already. For some reason it wouldn't dash there. It wouldn't jump. And that kind of annoyed me. Hey, forget those bats. And boom, there you go. Now whip out your uh, fire wave again. And make sure to take this guy out quick. For one very specific reason. I stayed there in the hopes of weapon energy, but I guess not. See, because if he keeps going and he takes out some of the rocks, you won't be able to get that hard tank unless you come back again or just kill yourself on the spikes. So that's pretty much it. We're reaching the end of the stage here. Armored Armadillo is not really a hard boss either. Uh, I missed the one up. That's okay. Aha, uh -huh, we're gonna be coming back here later. That's where you're gonna get the special Hadouken Fireball. Nice, Dr. Light's all dressed up like, like Ryu. Like I said, Armored Armadillo is really easy. It's a lot easier when you have Electric Spark. Usually it always starts out the match like that. I kind of messed up there, but I still managed to hit him somehow. And you want to do that right before you jump. I messed up right about here somehow. Oh yeah, and now that his shield is gone, you can hit him when he's rolling. So it's pretty easy. See, took no hit. It's a piece of cake. Uh. I had real problems recording this. Well, at least getting the file. Well, anyways, get a rolling shield. This is actually a pretty important weapon, and I'll see you guys later.